Welcome to CDR4EA Team, an online CDR writing service. Today, we will discuss the reasons why the CDR Competency Demonstration Report is rejected in particular for the plagiarism issue. After watching this video, you will get some basic idea how an assessor of Engineers Australia checks the plagiarism with the help of the software application. At first, let's go to the MSA booklet and what is mentioned here about the plagiarism issue. So, move on the Engineers Australia website. This is the latest MSA booklet published on Engineers Australia's website. In page 11 of the MSA booklet, there is a paragraph about the ethical standards. It is clearly mentioned that Information you provide to Engineers Australia may be used for data matching with Australian government agencies. Engineers Australia reserves the right to use software applications to screen your submitted work for matches either to published sources or to other submitted applications. Misleading and false information is viewed as a major breach of ethical behaviour. We refer applicants to the Engineers Australia Code of Ethics, in particular, the demonstration of integrity, available here. The sanctions regarding misleading applications include notification to the Department of Immigration and Border Protection and up to 12 months span from applying for a skills assessment with Engineers Australia. So, it is essential that your CDR must be free from plagiarism in both cases either from previously submitted CDR or from the internet source. Now, we will observe how our experts of CDR 4E18 check the plagiarism and identify the matching between the previously submitted CDR, as well as the internet source. So, let's go one of our technical writer's account. We have found our writer checked some CDR. We can see here, some CDR have the plagiarism. Firstly check the 20% plagiarism CDR. After clicking on the 20%, we get a new window where we check the plagiarism report. Let's check in details click on the 20%. After the clicking, we have found lots of plagiarism that are matching with the previously submitted CDR almost 19%. Now click on the 19% and we get which sentences are matching with the previously submitted CDR. Here, we have got many sentences that are matching. So, this applicant's CDR will not be passed, and if he submits this CDR to Engineers Australia, he must be banned for 12 months. Let's go to check for another CDR. Here, we have found another career episode that has 14% plagiarism. Let's check in deeply and click on the 14%. After the clicking, we have found this career episode is matching between student paper and internet source. So, again this career episode will not be passed by the Assessor of Engineers Australia. If the assessor finds this types of plagiarism, firstly, they will ask the applicant the reasons why your CDR is matching with different sources. After that, if his answers are not appropriate, he will be banned for 12 months. Now, we will discuss why some CDR is returned to add some more information. The main reason that you write the CDR in very simple ways in most cases you write the general duties and responsibilities. But, the assessor wants to know how you applied your professional engineering knowledge to implement the particular project. To get the positive outcome, you need to write more specific technical information. We hope you get some basic idea about the rejection of the CDR. If you are still facing any problem, please don't hesitate to contact us. C 
CDR4018 takes the genuine information from you, and represents it to your CDR with a very reasonable price. You may find some CDR writers on the internet at a lower service rate, but, unfortunately, they don't write professional CDRs, which in turn the rejection of your CDRs. Thanks a lot for watching our video.